how's it going? This is going to be part two of my makeup haul video for the last couple months. So I haven't been filming very much. I'm going to talk about that in my next video, I think. Um, but I've had a lot of stuff accumulating. And so I wanted to do a haul. I started filming and it just went way too long. So I'm going to split it into two parts. This is part two. I will link part one up here if you guys want to go check it out. But that's what we're going to do. So let's get started. I was in need of a new shower cap for when I don't wash my hair in the shower. And so I got one from Dry Bar. I felt like it was a little bit extravagant to pay like $15 for a um, shower cap, but it is really nice. So I've been using that. This is just the box. I'll put up a picture of what the shower cap actually looks like, but it's pretty nice. It's much better than the ones that I had had before that were like five bucks. I'm sure that one's going to last quite a bit longer. I also got the Tarte Tartist Pro Glow Blush Palette. Um, this one I haven't used yet. And I think in my head, I thought that the colors were going to be a little bit more muted. So this is the packaging, really pretty kind of like NARS feeling packaging with some little uh, like foil inserts there. And then it's one of the ones that opens this way like their contour palette did. And then these are the blushes you get right here. There's one highlighter and one more like contoury color, but they're all shimmery or have some degree of like sheen to them. So I'm not sure. I haven't even swatched this one yet, but um, I'll show you guys swatches of them. They look pretty. This one over here looks super pretty. Like that one's going to be right up my alley, but um, I don't know. I must've seen a picture of this one that looks like the colors were a little bit more muted, which is more my style. So I'll play with that one and let you guys know. Okay. So I also got this primer. This is the Bobbi Brown face base. And I have been wanting this for the longest time and I just never wanted to pay the money for it, but they had a really good sale. So I picked it up and Mm, it smells really good kind of like skincare, but also a little bit like citrusy Like I said before I just don't see that big of a difference with most primers on my skin Usually when I have a new primer I put it on half my face and then I just leave the other half bare and when I'm checking throughout the day I don't tell that big of a difference like I, I don't see it. So I don't know I don't know if it's worth the money But I do like that it hydrates my skin really nicely because a lot of hydrating products will break me out and this one hasn't done that yet so I'm going to keep it. I'm going to keep using it. Um, I did see on their website, I haven't seen it on Sephora, but on their website, they do have like a squeezy tube travel version of the face primer of the, um, what's it called? The face base that you can buy. And I will probably get that one next time if I repurchase it because I don't like the jar type of sticking your fingers in it. So I wish they had like a full size squeezy tube of this, but I think at the moment they don't. Okay. Then I got the Sarah Hap lip slip. This is another one I've been hearing about for a while and just never picked it up. But right now my lips have been super, super dry. And usually I use the Laneige lip sleeping mask and I have sworn by that for a long time, but recently it just hasn't been cutting it. It just hasn't been hiding, hydrating my lips the way I want it to. And so I got this one in the hopes that maybe this would do the job. And I've been happy with it so far. And I got that from Ulta. And when I did that, they had a free gift where you got a little Sarah Hap bag. And then inside the bag, there is a Sarah Hap lip gloss. Lip Slip One Lux Gloss. I haven't opened this, I haven't tried it or anything, so I will do that and let you guys know how that is also. Okay, I always end up talking way too much, so sorry. Okay, Beauty Blenders, I got a couple. I got this one, this is the set that has the two Beauty Blenders, the case, and then a couple of the little soaps. This was on, oh dang it, I can't remember the website, but there was a deal, there was a coupon code, and then it was already like 20% off or something. So I grabbed this as a backup, and then I also got one of the blue beauty blenders the blue beauty blenders because again it was on sale it was the same thing you've got it all like 30 percent off and then there was like a five dollar coupon so i placed two orders to get those and then i also have a beauty blender micro mini this came actually in an allure beauty bag let me see if i can find that and show you guys everything that was in that every once in a while the allure beauty bags have like amazing amazing products in them so the january box was the micro mini beauty blender and then the reason that i even subscribed at all was because it came with a sunday riley ceo glow oil and like i said my skin's been dry and so i wanted to try this um sunday riley is one of the only brands that i have tried Everything in her line that I have tried has worked really well for my skin. And so super excited about this. I've been using it. I love it. Even though my skin is more on the dry side right now, I only use this every other night before I go to bed. Um, if you have really dry skin, I think it'd be so awesome to use it every night. But 
my skin just isn't that dry right now. So then the other products you got were just kind of like whatever. It comes in a bag. You did get a um, another Sunday Riley product. This is the High Dose Retinoid Serum. I haven't tried that. And then you get a, let's see, what are these? You get a Doucet Matte Lip Crayon, a Mally Shadow Stick. You get a nail polish from NCLA, which I'll never use that. It's like a bright coral color. And then you get a Way uh, Scalp and Body Scrub. That's kind of cool. So I haven't used any of these yet. Let's see. The Mally Shadow Stick is in Burnished Bronze. And actually, everybody loves these, I feel like. And I never have used them. So I'll have to give that one a try. But um, yeah, keep an eye on the Allure Beauty Boxes because sometimes they have really good deals. One time they had the Foreo Play Plus. No, no. Just the Foreo Play in the beauty box. So sometimes you can get really awesome products and it's like $15 a month. So that's a pretty good deal. This alone is probably like 50 bucks or something. So awesome. This is a favorite. I ended up grabbing a couple of the It Cosmetics brushes when they had them on sale for one of their, um, it was like the, what was it, the 25 days of Ulta or beauty or whatever it is. They had these on sale for like 50% off. And so I got this big, huge one. This is the Velvet Luxe LBD powder brush. It's like a huge brush. The black ones are supposed to be like the luxurious It Cosmetics brushes for Ulta. And then the only other one that was in stock, I think, when I placed my order is this one. This is the Soft Focus Sculpting Brush. And this one is angled. I think it's supposed to be for contouring, obviously, because it's called the Sculpting Brush. But it's kind of like a fatter brush than what I would use for contouring. So I'm not sure what I'm going to use it for, but they feel amazingly soft. It Cosmetics brushes are my favorite. So if I can find them on sale, I'm going to... I'm gonna take advantage of that. So this one I'm super excited about just to use it for powder and maybe bronzer and stuff, but super, super soft and they feel nice and like weighted in your hand. Okay, this I have been, you guys, I am, I have been so bad about buying stuff. Like I have things on my list that I want for the longest time and I just don't ever get them because I, I just don't do it. I have so much stuff, but the Pixie Highlight, people have talked about this for ages and I just never did it. I would get it at Target, I would look at it, I would put it in my cart and then I would just, Put it back i would never end up buying it so mine is in the color delicate dew and these are so beautiful i think they have another one i'm not sure if it's more um golden or if it's more like coppery but these are such beautiful highlighters this light one the more pinky one in this duo that's the one that i use the most often right now and it is so beautiful i think this other a little bit deeper one is going to be so pretty to wear in the summertime when i have a tan but i have been wearing these ones so often it's really pretty as an inner corner highlight a little highlight on your nose it is what i have on today i don't know if you guys can see it but i have it on today i just love it so beautiful i also found this one from wet and wild this is the limited edition one called i'm so lit and this is a loose highlight let me make a mess with it everywhere i think their loose highlighters are also really really beautiful so i have the um they have one that's like more pinky and one that's more goldeny and this one is like champagne so it's not too golden but it still has that golden kind of undertone to it so this one is also so pretty and so smooth i do like to use this one wet because it's loose and it tends to kind of like fall off my face if I don't wet my brush before I apply it or have a little bit of like setting spray left on my skin, but it is so pretty. Mm, I love it. Like I said, I recommend all of the Wet n Wild loose highlighters because they're so pretty. Let's talk about a couple things I haven't had the chance to try it. So the first thing is from Flower Beauty. This is one of her flower blushes and this was on sale. I got it online and this is not actually the color I thought it was going to be. This is Warm Hibiscus and I wanted the one that was more of like a neutrally color and this one is a little bit, I think this might actually be the one that's supposed to be like a dupe for NARS Orgasm. So I, I'm undecided if I want to keep it or if I want to try to get the actual one I was trying to get. Um, and then I got this Tarte set right here. In here you get like a, I think it's supposed to be like a face cream, a primer, and then a setting powder. And they're just little samples of them. And I think they're all supposed to be like the Shape Tape line. So primer, powder, this is called the Shape Tape setting powder, and then you get a little cream. So they're just little minis. I just thought it'd be a good way to test them out and see if any of them were worth getting the full size of. I got a couple more of the Shape Tape concealers. I got one that is more fair that's going to work for me right now. And then I got a darker one because in the summertime I had like no concealers that would work for me. And so I thought, well, these were on sale. They had them for 50% off. I think at Ulta I wanted to grab one that would be my darker shade. So I'd actually have a concealer to use in the summertime. And then I got the um, Urban Decay 
primer potion, so it's called primer potion. This was a two pack on sale at Ulta and then I had a coupon, I think. So it was really inexpensive. I've already taken one out and I'm currently using that primer right now. This was a, a perk at Ulta, I think, um, like a freebie if you're um, diamond or platinum or whatever. This is the Kate Somerville Sensitive Skin Gentle Daily Wash. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to keep this or I might give it away to someone because I'm always scared of using new skincare. So, haven't used it. Not sure if I'm going to keep it or if I'm going to give it away. We'll see. And then the last thing I got is this Clinique set. Now, the Clinique Take the Day Off Balm is my favorite, favorite makeup remover. And it costs like 30 bucks, so I never buy it full price. I always wait until they have it like half off at Ulta or somewhere. Um, but sometimes it doesn't happen in time. And so I got this set. This was on sale for like $18, I think, at Macy's. And so I grabbed it. So in here you get a bunch of stuff. You get a little clear Clinique purple bag. And then you also get a pack of the Take the Day Off wipes. These ones. Um, I'm not a huge fan of these. I usually use them for like swatches and stuff. But if you like them, then that's an awesome deal. And then you get a full size of the Take the Day Off balm. Um, weird fact on the website, this says that it is 4.2 ounces that comes in this set. It's not. It's 3.9 or 3.8. That's a full size. I don't know why there's the size discrepancy, but that's how it is. And then you get a Clinique like headband for like when you wash your face, if you want to use that. And then a little mini of their City Block Purifying Charcoal Scrub. So you get all those things. It was, like I said, super inexpensive. Once in a while, Macy will do that. Macy's will do that where they'll, where they'll just have a like a really good deal on a set like that. So that's what I got. I actually got like three of these because I am low on my Clinique. So anyway, that is everything that I got for this little haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you guys are interested in seeing more about or if there's things that I didn't answer your questions about, then let me know down below. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a great day. I'll see you next time. Bye.